Good morning to you, but it's a night to me because I'm actually filming this part the day before I'm gonna film today's vlog. Does that make any sense? Um, but while today's vlog was rendering, I had to go to Walmart and I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got because I was gonna use some of the products tonight, so, um, and I wanna put it away. So when I talk about it tomorrow, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I had to go to Walmart just for some Q-tips and um, cotton balls. But I also needed a face wash because I hate the face wash that I'm using. I need a, a toner, a face moisturizer, um, makeup wipes, and I didn't need a concealer, but I got one. <laughs> um, so anyway, oh, really quick, by the way, these are so flipping good. Oh my God, I just tried one for the first time. All right, so really quick. I ended up getting Yes to Cucumbers uh, face makeup wipes. These are natural ones, so I figured they won't burn, but maybe they'll work. We'll see about that. Um, I ended up getting, I've never, maybe I have heard of this brand before, but it's Pond's Dry Skin Cream Rich Hydrating Facial, facial Moisturizer. So I want to give that a try. I like that it's in a jar. I prefer face moisturizers that are in a jar. I don't know why, but I'll give that a try. Um, I also ended up... I gotta sneeze. <coughs> I ended up getting um, St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Cleanser. Gent gently cleanses and clears pores. Because I don't really struggle that much with breakouts. I know I have a couple here and there. Um, but I honestly think it's because of my beauty blender. Um, but, so I don't need like a, like a deep cleanser. So I ended up getting this one. And for my toner, they're all different brands. <laughs> but for my toner, I got L'Oreal Paris um, Hydro Fresh Toner. So I want to give that a try because I haven't used a toner since my Proactive. Um, but then I also, that brand Flower that I use the foundation from, I got a concealer from them and it's a bright enough concealer. So I'm going to try to use it in my makeup routine tomorrow and see how I like it. So you'll hear about like the very first impression of all these products tomorrow because my nighttime routine pretty much includes, actually includes all of this. So I'm going to go and um, wrap my hair up for tomorrow and I gotta go shower and stuff so but I will see you guys for you it's gonna be a second for me it's like 12 hours so it is the morning now so I took out my hair and it just was weird like the bottom was super super kinky um so I just wet it down and brush it out with the extensions in and everything I'm just gonna let it air dry um I'm gonna put a little bit of my frizzies serum in it but I'm gonna head over to my mom's um, baby, give me that. I'm gonna head over to my mom's for breakfast. It's about, I think, 7 now or 7 30. So we'll go over with the baby. Um, I tried out that face wash, um, yesterday, the pomegranate? No, peaches one? No, apricot one. And, uh, it smells really, really good. Hey, hey! She found her way to a power cord. Um, it smells really, really good. And, um, I like the this uh say yes to cucumbers face wa uh, face wipes it burns a little bit like a tiny little bit it'll leave my face a little bit red um but i don't mind that it doesn't irritate it it doesn't like hurt burning it but it takes off my makeup really well so i really really like those um i haven't been able to try the concealer yet the toner I used, I think that's pretty good, and the face moisturizer I used, which I think is pretty good. I actually got to put some on because I just washed my face and I feel it a tiny bit dry after using the toner. So I'm going to do that. Again, put the frizzy serum into my hair, grab her a milk, and then head over. Where are we, Ella? Are we getting lunch? Where? Red Robins? Okay, so I just had like the worst service ever. Oh, so I went to the Mall of New Hampshire because I wanted to go to Bath and Body Works and get, um, we just got my upstairs bathroom working, which is so exciting. So I'm going to go in and give it a good cleaning, but I ended up getting a smart soap dispenser like the one I have in my kitchen. So when we got to the place, I was like, all right, I have some money to grab some lunch. We'll go into Red Robins. I like Red Robins. So anyway, so we get in there. And the hostess is nice, nothing wrong with the hostess. Um, but then she sits me at a table, right? This guy is fucking speeding up. 
Every time. I feel like every time I get on the highway, I have assholes driving next to me. So, oh, let's break. Oh, he's from Pennsylvania. That's why. No. <laughs> um, so I go into Red Robins and I'm sitting at a table, like you know, you normally do, um, for about 15 minutes, like without anybody coming over, greeting me, offering drink, nothing at all. So I'm like, okay, well, I just unpacked it. Like, I was ready to leave. If I was by myself, I would have just found somewhere to else to eat because that's just kind of ridiculous. Um, so I sat there. I'm like, I just unpacked Ella. I unpacked all her stuff. There's no way I'm just going to pack it up just to re-unpack it somewhere else. So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally, this woman who was taking care of other tables around me was like, have you been greeted yet? And I said, no. I said, I don't know who my server is. And she's like, all right, well, I don't know who's taking care of these tables, but she was like, I'll just help you. Now, this woman was really nice. Like, she was, like, fine. She, she didn't cause any problems either. But I had, like, no napkins on my table, no silverware on my table, no ketchup on my table, like, nothing. So the woman comes over, and she's like, all right, um, She's like, I'll, I'll take your order. Um, what would you like to drink? And I said, you know, can I just have a Coke and I actually know what I want to eat? So she took my order and put it in for me. So now I was trying to keep Ella entertained. So I had little like goldfish crackers. Um, I had them in my hand. So I was crushing them up and feeding like piece by piece to her because um, they're too big whole. So I'm feeding them or whatever. And it's taking a long time to get my food. The woman got my drink fast. But it's taking a while to get my food, and Ella's not a good, like, she doesn't sit still for a long time. So I'm like, ah, like we already have been here 15 minutes waiting for the drink, and now we're waiting a long time for the food. So anyways, I'm trying to keep her entertained, and then I put the crackers on top of the table to do something. I don't remember, but I need both hands. And, I mean, granted, I'm sure they buffed busted the table. I mean, I'm sure it's clean. I wouldn't put my daughter's crackers on a dirty table. But anyways, while the crackers were on, like, in a small pile on the table, this other woman comes out with my food and was like, I got a crispy chicken sandwich. She's like, chicken sandwich? And like, just puts the plate down and walks away, like, so fast. She, I, before I even knew that, like, she was, I didn't even have time to look at her before she was already walking away. So I'm like, Okay, well what she did is she put it on top of the crackers, so the crackers went all over the table, and I'm like, are you free? <laughs> I'm like, ah, are you kidding me? Like, it was just really annoying, and then when I started eating, that's when I realized that I didn't have napkins, and I didn't have ketchup, so I had to steal ketchup from the table behind me, and when the original woman came over that took my drink order, was like, oh, is everything okay? I'm like, I, can I can I get some napkins? And she's like, oh, do you need silverware too? I said, no, I just, I didn't need it. I had a burger and fries. Um, but I was just, it was really odd. Like the table was not prepared at all. Like I said, it didn't have ketchup. It didn't have napkins. It didn't have silverware. The woman literally like put my plate down so hard. Like it actually freaked me out for a second. I was just super, super annoyed with the service. I was like, it wasn't like it was busy but not like crazy I just I don't understand what happened like they had an MIA waitress <laughs> for my table it was just really really bizarre but anyways we're done with that it was just a really really stressful trip it really was I did not enjoy the trip at all my GPS is falling it is time for operation clean my nasty upstairs bathroom. Basically, when my pipes burst in my upstairs bathroom, water wasn't running, so we couldn't use it. So we literally just shut the door and forgot about it. So it's nasty. It really, really is. So I'm gathering all the cleaning supplies, supplies I'm bringing up in these. So I need Windex because there's a mirror up there. I'm going to use my fantastic heavy duty all-purpose cleaner. I'm also going to use my Clorox bleach cleaner because it's nasty. Um, I need to uh, mop, so I'm going to use some pine soil in my mop bucket. Let's see, let's see, what else, what else? We'll use Lysol disinfecting wipes. And we will use 
some straight up bleach. There's not much left in here, but I need to bleach that toilet. There's toilet cleaner up there. There's, uh, what else actually? I need my toilet brush. Oh, there's one up, there's one up there. Uh, I need a plastic bag because uh, I'm going to empty the trash while I'm up there. Lord knows, I don't even know what's in that trash anymore. Um, and once it's all clean, I'm going to move all my products up there because that's the bathroom I'm going to like do my nighttime routine in because um, it's the only bathroom with a working sink. So, Oh, and I also brought a um, smart soap cleaner for that bathroom. So I got a white one for that one. And I ended up getting a scent called Caribbean Escape. So, all right, let us, I'm going to first show you what it looks like before. And I'm telling you, I'm warning you, it's disgusting. I don't want to see any comments that are like, oh, you're so gross. It's gross. Let's go. go. I'm going to put my products down. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. See how dirty the mirror is? The mirror is dirty. This wall will be repainted, but Lord knows eventually I want to replace this vanity mirror. And then I have this with all my products in it. And I don't I don't even want to show you the toilet straight up. I don't want to show you the toilet. Um, but the walls are just really, really nasty. Look like water damage up here and then the spider webs in there all i need in my duster <laughs> but basically this is the color scheme that i was gonna go with so i don't know i'm thinking about doing maybe like a dark gray for the for the walls maybe but i don't know if we're tearing these walls down or not like this was our original layout so this was the um this was the bathroom basically and we're gonna put a tub in here and like knock out this wall and extend it into the next room, which this room also is a disaster, into that room back there. But I don't know if we're still doing it or not, so. But either way, this needs to be cleaned badly. There's a bee in there. Are you kidding me? I can't clean until he's out. I don't want to get freaking stung. I wonder if we have some old receiver. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna leave him in there for a minute. I am shaking. <laughs> I finally got him, but I also broke my broom. <laughs> he would not die. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Okay, gotta get a new broom and back to cleaning. Still an ugly bathroom, but it is all clean finally. The floors I just mopped, so I don't want to step too much into it, but that is just stained down there. I cannot get that off, but clean toilet. Ow! Damn it. That hurt. I gotta fix this eventually, too. Clean toilet. I put a plant there, some toilet cleaning products, and toilet paper, and pretty much, I mean, I organized this a little bit, just some of my products um, and then the sink again that is all just like rusting stain this everything will be replaced this bathroom will be completely done eventually clean the mirror Hi. Um, but I just got that cleaned up I got my soap dispenser in there so that functioning bathroom right now I hate this bathroom I think it's so ugly like it really is a wicked ugly bathroom but it is clean it is functioning and I feel accomplished. So I am probably going to do some unpacking now. Um, when Ella got up, actually my sister-in-law has it right now. But when she got up, I was unpacking her suitcase, but she made a mess. So I'm going to clean up her nursery while she's not here. Take advantage of that. Empty her trash barrel. And then um, probably moved on, move on to my bedroom and just clean up a little bit. So today's just a cleaning day. I feel productive. I'm excited. So, um... I got a lot of work done. I'm taking a quick break right now because every Wednesday is my laundry chore cleaning laundry day. <laughs> and um, we usually go to the dry cleanings, but my mom said well, just dry or wash your clothes here. She said my dryer doesn't work, but you can just hang them up at home or 
I can take them to a dry cleaning and just dry them there. So I just dropped my clothes off. I just put in the dark load, so I'll have to go back and switch it out to the white load. So I'll have to make a couple trips. But I am heading out to get uh, supper right now at my old work. I'm starving and I'm craving that chicken pot pie right now, like craving it. So I'm going to go. Um, it's just a little easier to get it now while I don't have Ella. And honestly, my sis whenever my sister-in-law takes her, she usually keeps her until about 8, which is her bedtime. But TJ and I are thinking about ex like extending her bedtime up a little bit, maybe to 8.39 because she her napping schedule has been like really really wonky recently like she's been wanting to take early naps like she'll wake up right now she'll wake up between seven well between six and seven thirty seven thirty the latest she'll get tired again around 10 she'll sleep for like maybe an hour and a half and then she'll get tired again around like three-ish maybe even earlier so then she it, let's say hypothetically she takes a nap at three then she'll be tired by like seven you know what I mean so she's been going to bed super super early and that um ends up what ends up happening is she ends up waking up like at like five but then wanting to go back to bed so I don't know it's just like like if she wants to take a nap at seven I'll allow her to take, you know, like a 45-minute nap. And then, you know, we wake up and play some more until maybe 9. I don't know. I don't, it's, honestly, anybody who's ever asked me for advice for babies, I say, like, don't come up with a schedule because the schedule will change the next day. Literally, you have to make a schedule for, like, every single day. And I just tell them, you know what? Go with the flow. Don't, like, stress yourself out and be like... I need my kid to go down at this time because then she's going to go to bed at this time, yada, yada. Just take every single day and go with the flow. <laughs> Trust me, it's going to save you. I realized how annoying this was in my last vlog. I am so sorry. I meant to actually switch my um, GPS to this side, but I honestly don't think it will work because I think it's kind of a blind spot. So whenever I'm vlogging vlogging in the car I'll just take that down because in my last vlog it was bouncing all over and I'm like oh like I don't want to delete all that stuff out I had some good stuff to talk about so ah, what are you doing what are you doing you never fall on me anymore what's your problem okay we're good um so yeah so we're trying you know we're always experimenting with um different schedules and some things work and some things don't oh th this intersection is a clusterfuck Terrific. I guess I'll go right. It might be easier. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go grab some food. I'm probably just going to bring it home, to be honest. I cleaned the upstairs bathroom that you guys saw. I cleaned Ella's entire room. Um, I didn't vacuum, though, because vacuuming is, like, on a specific day. And I'm like, I did so much for today. Her floor, honestly, isn't bad. I'm like, I'll just wait till vacuuming day. But I've been really, really productive today, so I'm excited. Um, and I talked a little bit ago about wanting to um, improve myself, take better care of myself, take better care of my home, just everything in my life take better care of, relationships, everything. And I think I've been doing pretty well with like the things that I've been working on. Like, like I was talking about, um, I said that I want to do take better care of my skin, take better care of my hair, my skin I've been taking good care of. Um, I got into a routine that I like um, every night. I got some new products that you saw in yesterday's vlog and I've been liking them so far. Um, so I've been trying to stay religious with that and it's going to be much easier to have a working sink upstairs. Um, that way I can just do all my product routine there. Honestly, like I was washing my face like in the bathtub and like brushing my teeth over the bathtub. I know how gross that is, but I don't have a sink and I didn't want to like spit it out in my kitchen sink where all my dishes were, you know, it was just kind of gross. So I'm like, whatever, we'll just do it in the bathtub, I guess. Um, but I just feel better. Um, the next big thing that I have to work on is patience. And I know this sounds weird, but like, if you guys follow my vlogs, I've been having a little bit of a hard time with Ella. Honestly, not even bad. 
but she's just through like this weird phase where again I don't know if it's teething or separation anxiety I don't know but she's just been a little bit crankier than ever like she's always been a really happy and smiling baby and she's been kind of tough a little bit uh, she's challenging me let's just say um, so I need to learn to be patient and I don't want to yell at her I don't want to upset her you know what I mean so I just need to learn to like especially in the car that's where I'm like ah, oh, because you can't get away from the screaming and you really can't do anything about it when you're driving especially when I'm on the highway so I mean that's just a, a personal thing that I'd like to um, work on not only with my daughter but just in general I think it's you know best to be a patient person I think um, you know it can really help you in life to be a patient person and with driving sometimes you'll go <laughs> I always watch my vlogs and I look back and I laugh because I get such bad road rage sometimes but I never yell at somebody if they're driving slow or like made an honest mistake but if they're genuinely doing something stupid I'm like okay come on and I very rarely okay like this one is doing something stupid <laughs> I never use my horn unless um, someone's gonna hit me or like if there's been a green light for a while I'll like lightly touch my horn I won't like beep, I'll beep. <laughs> just to kind of be like hey by the way you know like I don't have road rage where everybody around me can see it yeah I'm in my own little bubble right here where I'm yelling at people but anyways actually I'm pretty close to the place already I it was a pretty quick trip to be honest maybe I was just talking a lot I don't know I just feel super productive today and I just feel like good right now just good <laughs> though so excited I got my Netflix going on and I got my food like, oh my god oh yes I did that don't worry um I got two side gravies I got my pie which is always delicious my mashed potatoes mm, I do that for a reason to put my gravy in there I also got a side of mac and cheese, and I grabbed some corn on the cob. I just gotta go grab myself a drink, which I think we have iced tea and Coke in here. Yes, we do. I'm gonna go grab myself an iced tea. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. After this, I will go right back to cleaning, but time for a snacky. I'm sweating. My like camera is gross. I have been mowing the lawn for like an hour and a half now and there's my laundry up on my porch <laughs> Saving money any way we can But I just need to take like a five minute break because I have to refill the gas can but my day is far from over I got to Fold all that laundry and then I got to go pick up my wipes whites wipes whites from my mom and hang those up to dry I got to finish mowing. I got to water my pl flowers and then I gotta go in, and every night I like to just disinfect everything. So I'll take Lysol wipes and just wipe down any surfaces, any like faucets, anything like that. And I gotta sweep my house real quick and dishes. And I think that's it. So seven o'clock, day's still far from being over. Hey guys, so I am heading to my mom's to grab the rest of my laundry. So. Like I said, pretty much I'm just going to go home and finish chores, so there's really nothing exciting to show you guys. Reminder that tomorrow will be Friday, so there's usually not a vlog on Fridays, um, but I always record the day before, so really that recording would be on a Thursday. Does that make any sense? But um, this is the first day off my husband's had in like three weeks, so it's really, really important to me to spend a day with him and put work aside, take a day off. I didn't take a day off last week because he was working, so he got an extra video last week. Um, tomorrow, though, we are going to the Museum of Science in Boston because it's also the first week that we're together that I don't have to go to work at three. So we're going to go to the Museum of Science, and I was debating on vlogging, but I might just like have a couple clips like it's not gonna be a formal vlog like I usually have but I might show you a couple clips of things I see like interesting there because the Museum of Science is like my favorite place to go so um, for people who've never been or never been to Boston or can't get to Boston go um, 
I was just gonna get a few clips here and there, but I really just wanted to kind of put my phone away and give myself a break and spend time with my family. So I hope you guys understand. And of course, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you have a great day tomorrow because I won't really be able to see you. I'll be on Instagram and Twitter though. So if you want to say hi, say hi. And I um, will see you guys in a couple days.